Hello friends, hello Antalya, hello Antalyanders, welcome to my channel, this is Vas. I'm talking to you from Antalya and I'm sharing with you some news and some observations which I have by just living here. Remember, you can subscribe, you can leave some comments, you can leave some likes. That will help to develop this channel, to add some more uh, respectability to it. Today I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts on the new law which was enacted on October 16 in Turkey and it's related to immigration and property ownership. You know, one of the ways to apply and get residency in Turkey is by purchasing a flat. And if you purchase the flat, you can apply for residency. It used to be that the cutoff amount was $75,000. If you buy for that, and if estimated cost is that or over, you could apply. Starting October 17th, it has to be $200,000, a lot of money. But that's just for people who are buying it. There are some other people who are now in difficult position. If you purchased apartment or flat, with the hope that it will be finished in several years or if you purchased but you did not apply for residency and you hope to retire that may be an issue for you too the reason for that is that now not only the uh, estimated or evaluated cost has to be two hundred thousand, but also registered cost with the government which i don't know of many apartments in Antalya, in whole province of Antalya, which would satisfy that particular requirements. Maybe in Istanbul, but anyway in Turkey, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be more of a houses, villas, etc. Maybe there you will find that kind of value. But if you're looking for apartment, the only option which you have now is if you purchase the apartment, you can come for whatever the duration is permitted to you by the government based on your passport, based on your citizenship. That's it. Why did it happen? Let's try to figure out. I will share some of my thoughts on that. One of the first things which came to people's mind and they discuss it on internet, it's related to what's happening right now in Israel and Turkey. Just preemptively, just a little bit of ahead of time, they decided to enact a law which would stop people from this kind of impacted areas to come and purchase the apartment. Logical, maybe it is the case, but it's a really broad law, really high cutoff. So I'm thinking it may be a part of the reason and maybe that law already was prepared and on somebody else's table and they decided to enact in it. But I think there is something else going on. And what else is going on the following? There is a discontent among local people that they cannot rent cheap apartments as they used to but if you look at the perspective the people are moving to larger areas more successful areas where they can find a job and that's always the case in turkey in most cases you have only one person in the family who is working the head of the household and he has to provide for all the people in his household and families are usually larger than it is in the west so the apartments needs to be a little bit larger all of those things have importance and uh, people are discontented but on the other hand they're not staying in rural areas where things are still cheap and they are the same cheap because uh, prices did not reason evenly everywhere there is another issue which happened and that is the earthquake we all heard of it lots of people were hurt lots of apartments were leveled down that is a great impact and besides that turkish population is growing pretty fast so the construction is really not catching up with that see antalya in 1980 was a village of 50,000 people maybe a little town of 50,000 people now it's many many times more so many people who moved to antalya they are also not local they moved from other areas in hope of finding a better life and establishing a better position where they can provide for the family and that is a huge number it's a huge growth so the government now is trying to create conditions where turkish people can actually 
get the apartments for cheap again. And now we come to the conclusion, which will be uh, transferred to the second point which I'm trying to make. On one side, you have a demand. The population of certain cities is growing much faster than the construction can provide the apartments. That's a problem. The other problem is that we had an earthquake and that earthquake also took away a lot of flats. That means that there is a demand and there is a demand also for construction material. And construction material cost a lot. It increased quite a bit. In addition to that, you have inflation. In addition to that, you have prices of fuel and transportation as related to that. So people who are saying, well, maybe the prices of flats will come down in Antalya and elsewhere. Honestly, I have great doubts that this will happen. I don't think the prices will come down as fast as many people think. And I did observe that uh, in the apartment building where I lived in, there was a person who lived and had to move because the owner wanted to rent that apartment at higher prices. So yes, there is such thing as apartment owners wanted to have higher prices and for that they displace uh, people and they try to find other people who can rent apartment for higher. Again, this is a supply and demand. If there are going to be few foreigners, perhaps there will be less demand, but that is only perhaps because already one year passed since the first enactment came in where the residency was not given as liberally as it's used to be in the history. The one year rental contra contract would not get you tourist residency. It was not approved. And it's been over a year since that law was enacted. The prices did not come down. So it did not really have the result which was intended. Now we have another uh, law enacted. But this law will influence a minuscule percent of all the people which participate in real estate market. And from what I know, out of 2% of the people of foreign descent which buy properties in Turkey, only about 20 to 25% apply for residency. So that number is really not going to impact the real estate. And also for some people it will be very satisfactory. They will receive great satisfaction of knowing that foreigners will not be actually participating in the market as actively. It's not going to make a big change. That's my prediction. And if you have any other ideas of what's going on or what may happen, please leave in the comments because I'd like to share these ideas. I'd like it to be back and forth. I'm Vas, welcome to my channel and I hope that you're doing well and you're not impacted by this law.